Hey guys, Dr. Matt here from Life Spring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas. She might look familiar. This is Sydney, better known as Spin City on YouTube and Instagram. We'll link her below. Woo. We did a video together about a year ago, and we weren't friends then. We're more friends now, so we're gonna have fun we with this were video. We friends, but now we're really good friends. <laughs> so we'll have more fun with this video, but also show kind of with what's going on with Sydney, and this will be fun to show a year later. So. Yeah. Be, if you can remember back a year ago, how are things different now or what a... <laughs> different now is I've been seeing him for really consistently for the year, at least, at least once a week for this entire time. And what I really noticed is my body adjusts so much better after his adjustments. And now I just can't imagine not seeing him and coming in here and just feeling as good as I do. And I think the ideal pairing is to the adjustment with movement, absolutely. We recommend it to everyone at home. We give people home exercises, and Sydney, obviously, movement specialist. You can check out her YouTube videos. Again, she's doing great movement to pair with the adjustments, so it helps mm -hmm. out a lot. So, we'll get started today. Sydney, what, what specifically today was going on? Specifically, I think mainly it's been in my shoulder and my neck, but ultimately also my hips are feeling a little extra tight. I do a lot of home workouts, kind of like what Matt was hinting at. And so with that shift, my body feels a little bit tighter than usual in unusual places. So shoulders, hips, all that good stuff. So here we go. So I told her she can take it away. I'm going to leave and uh, enjoy. Thank you. No. Okay, <laughs> thanks, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so. So we'll get started. Let's uh, whole body today, but I'm going to focus on the shoulder. You've said this before. It feels usually to you like it's the whole right side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let's start you uh, face up. Actually, Ooh, okay. This is the first time I've done this. So let's start you face up. <laughs> let's do it. We'll do a few muscle tests with the low back, and then we're going to adjust the low back first and work our way up. So with the muscle test here, we're going to test the hip flexors, TFL, we'll do some of the glutes also, but we'll start right here. I want you to hold this like mm -hmm. is. I'm gonna push down and in, don't let me. See a little bit of a shake there, but not bad. I'm gonna push down and out, don't let me. Okay, and then here I'm gonna push down and in, don't let me. Okay, and down and out, don't let me. Okay. So she's holding solid on these. We're gonna test the glute medius next. I'm gonna turn the foot out like this. Mm -hmm. I'll usually test it from the other side, just doing things different today. I'm gonna to push in toward the midline, don't let me. Okay, and same thing here. I'm gonna push in toward the midline, don't let me. So relative side to side, and it's so good. I mean, she's consistently adjusted, so it's showing up much different. The average person that comes in who's not maintaining their body regularly, there'll be a significant difference side to side. Mm -hmm. Here, that right side showed up weaker than the left on everything we did, and there's more shake to it. I can feel it, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So let's have you turn over, so face down, please, okay. and then any certain movements that, that right hip's been the main one for you, any certain movements that agitated though, Sydney, or things that you tend to struggle with? Anything where my feet, I feel like going into a frogger, if you're familiar with those terms, my feet are coming out of my hands, just bring my knee up rather, okay. um, kind of hurts. Okay. I don't know what frogger is. It's okay, I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> They're everyone's what? worst nightmare. Wasn't it like a, it was like a video it's game like or something? It's like a really deep squat, essentially. It's a really deep squat, okay? Yeah. In my defense, there's different terminology, different there words is, is. for many workouts. So. He obviously doesn't watch my workout videos. I'm not gonna say it though. <laughs> I think I'm on one of your YouTube videos though. One of them, yeah. Okay, so feeling the same thing, motion first. That left side, movement-wise, it moves really well. Then that's the SI joint that I'm moving. This right one, there's no movement to it. And then as I come in to isolate where within the joint, so SI stands for sacroiliac. So sacral referring to here, the sacrum. Iliac is the hip bone here. And it's really that right sacrum there. Mm -hmm. And she's quick to confirm. Yes. You can feel it. <laughs> so that's the one that we're going to make the adjustment to. And I want to show really quick, though, how it shows up in the feet before we adjust it. So 
When we look at the feet here, that right leg is the long one or the left one, the short one relative, however you want to look at it. Uh, there's different ways we can interpret that. That's not my primary analysis ever when looking at the pelvis, but all things considered with knowing how which muscles will be weak and motion and leg length, they're all like little clues if we're playing detective that we're tallying on where we're gonna be. So it's gonna be here on the right sacrum. Let's have you on your side facing me this way, please. Okay, why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna bend the top leg, we'll keep that bottom one straight. Good, and then you're gonna roll you toward me. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And it's been a little bit since I've actually it adjusted has. you. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's have you go face down one more time, please. And then we'll recheck that same motion. So there we go. Motion better. Does it feel different to you when I yeah. push on that joint? Yeah. I agree. I like the word choice too. <laughs> and then feet here are even. That's perfect. That's what we want. And then I'll do a couple of the muscle tests that were showing weak. So that glute medius, there's a different way you test it when she's on her back. But here we go. We'll do the same thing. Hold here. Sydney, I'm going to push in. Don't let me. There we go. Good. I like it. And then we're going to move on up her spine. So same thing, feeling for motion throughout. And you know what? With everyone that we work with more long term, there's different things that will show up. We say, you know, the body's dynamic. It's there might be similar patterns for each person that show up, but sometimes, I don't know, Sydney's doing different things. Maybe some days she's doing froggers. Mm -hmm. Other days she's not. I don't know. Are there toads? Are there that toads? Would be <laughs> <laughs> yes. So right here through your mid back and. The camera even, I don't know if you, the camera can pick that up, but I can, you can see the difference here. It's not so boggy. There it is. It's more puffy and just a little inflamed within the joint space right there through her mid back. So oh, yeah. let's have you turn onto your back and we'll get that one a little bit different. Okay. I'm going to call it before she does it since I know her by now. What? The cough is coming. Oh my goodness. I was going to say, I'm not going to cough today. For some reason, when I do this, it's just all the air is being pushed out of me, you know? Does it hurt at all? No, not at all. I love it. <laughs> but she coughs every time, so I gotta make fun of her. <laughs> so, right there. Right there. Right there. So, come into that same spot. There we go. There, go. Oh. there we go. Oh, you didn't cough. I had a reaction, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. So, I went to that same spot that I felt with her turned the other way, and. For some people, or the way that their spine is shaped, it's just more comfortable to adjust it in that way that we just did. We call it an anterior dorsal. And then here, in the neck. So when you say shoulder, I first think neck. Mm -hmm. I've told you that before. Right? Yeah, a few times. But today, it's been a while. Periodically, we'll check in with Sydney's shoulder. Today, I'm going to start with the spine, but then we'll actually look at that shoulder more close. So... Right there in the lower part of the neck. The upper neck's been good. Perfect. So there's one spot. Lower neck is the bottom bone in the neck. Right there. Uh. there. <laughs> that was great. Awesome. <laughs> and then we're going to check shoulder now. So similar ways in which we did muscle tests before. If a muscle is showing weak, it's just telling me to check certain joints after the joints are strong. If there's still something going on with the shoulder, we can dig deeper into muscles. So four joints, 16 muscles. You might have to rewind that. I said it kind of fast. There's a lot going on with the shoulder, but let's check the shoulder out. Let's do it. Is it hurting at all though today? In no. this part of Okay. So hand up, palm out toward me. And this is where even like athletics and chiropractic come in. She's not in any pain in her shoulder today, mm -hmm. but she uses the crap out of her body. So we're gonna make sure it's functioning well. In a good way. Yes. <laughs> hold, hold here, I'm gonna push your arm out, resist. Okay, good there. I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, resist. Good, this is checking the rib cage on two different lines. I'm gonna rotate your hand. I'm gonna push toward your foot, resist. Mm -hmm. Is checking the glenohumeral joint for you nerds out there. There's been more people commenting about them being nerds. That's good. Me too. <laughs> I think you too, right? Yeah, I know that term. <laughs> uh, make a fist for me, please. Punch up 
and then halfway back down. Hold there, I'm gonna push your fist down. Don't let me. Okay, a little shaky on that one. Keep the fist, bend the elbow for me, please. I'm gonna push the arm down to the floor, don't let me. Okay, and a little shaky on that one. So those mm -hmm. two, the first one here where the fist was up, that's the serratus anterior we're testing. So looking at rib angle, so I'm gonna feel here, that rib angle is one of the four places the ribs can misalign. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, like a little bit ticklish, but it's fine. Is that just ticklish then right here? Or is no, it no, sense? no, I Does feel it, it too. Yeah. <laughs> so of that one there, it's pretty oh, tender? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So of this, I want you to let me know which is second most sensitive right there above it or right there below, below it. Okay. For sure. So this rib has moved down. I'm gonna bring it up here. So let's have you roll onto your side facing away from me, please. I'm gonna keep the, my hand here as the marker though. Okay. And then you can lean back into me, there you go. And then I'm gonna be right on that rib angle. Breath in for me, please, Sydney. Let it all go. Good. Whoa. And then on your back for me, please. Okay. And there's small movements there with the rib cage. It's rare sometimes on the back side of the rib cage we'll hear some noise, but it's pretty rare on that side that we're mm -hmm. nervous. If you do, you're probably not gonna be happy with me. <laughs> Let's have hand up, make a fist for me, please. Punch up, halfway back, hold. I'm gonna push down, don't let me. There we go, good, I like it. That last one here though, that's the AC joint. So we were testing the coracobrachialis when she made a fist and we're pushing her arm down. I know I'm using a lot of terms right now I don't usually use. It's okay, I'm writing them all down. We usually talk about, we usually talk about coffee. Coffee, walks. Walks. Dogs. CBD. Oh yeah, CBD. She got a CBD I, business. I have one, I take it every day. It's really great for recovery. It's the first that I tried. Now it's the only that I will try. Ooh. Testimonial right there. There we go. So a little clicky on that shoulder. Yeah. And then we're gonna make a small adjustment to it. Did you ever have any injuries to this? You swam in college. I swam, yeah. yeah so I had some shoulder injuries and then my low back like area. Remind me to the shoulder though, was there any any kind of tear ever or structural uh, damage to it? Not any tears, but I feel like every swimmer you just have really bad shoulders. Yeah, and I'm feeling a lot of mobility there also. So with the shoulder, here, I'm gonna just rest your hand there and slight push down. Good. And that's all it is. Make a fist for me, please. Mm -hmm. Bend the elbow a little more. I'm gonna push your whole arm down. Don't let me. There we go. Mm -hmm. So it's quick. Yeah. And that's what we want is just that quick reaction. We're gonna test the other side very quickly. What's this? The, you had an elbow issue a while back. Was it that side? I don't know. I don't remember either. I don't remember either. Let's check it real quick then. So looking into the elbow, this is how we do it. A lot of times wrist problems, they're elbow problems. Hmm. I was gonna say my, elbow, my wrist is kind of hurting. There we go. It was the side that I think <laughs> So push your whole arm toward me. Okay, a little shaky. Hand like that, push toward me again. Well, that's a little shaky. So we're isolating, whether it's this inside or outside part. Flatten your hand for me, please. Push toward me again. Okay, so that one's better. When you were here, I don't know mm -hmm. if you feel the difference. Push toward me one more time. Mm -hmm. A little more shaky. Yeah. So that's coming from this spot right there. That's the tricep muscle, but again, we can really hone in on which side it's coming from, and it's right there. So mm -hmm. that's the ulna we're gonna make an adjustment to. The ulna. The ulna. There. And she has very flexible elbows, so it's just finding that right joint space. You hear that? Super flexible elbows. <laughs> Put that one in your resume. <laughs> Hold your hand like this. I usually don't talk to her like this. <laughs> Push your arm toward me, please. There we go. Ooh, she's overpowering me now. This is good. That's what we want. So elbow is good. Now with the elbow, there's almost always a little bit of soft tissue component in the forearm. Mm -hmm. She's a bit cranky. She is. Olna is not happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. And you, so you were. Uh, in college, you were a swimmer, and mm -hmm. uh, you did was it breaststroke? 
Butterfly. Butterfly, okay. Not a brush stroker. Okay. Butterfly for sure. So that's when I think I had a lot of rotator cuff issues. My low back was always kind of giving out. And then yeah, that's also that. when I saw my first chiropractor. Mm -hmm. And then really like turned me on to the experience. I had a really good experience with that. And then I found Dr. Matt through a mutual friend. And now I'm back in biz. And now she's back in biz. Testimonial, did you see? Yes. <laughs> There we go, good. So always work on a little bit of soft tissue there in the forearm when there's something going on in the elbow and many times that'll be what's actually showing up in the wrist, but mm -hmm. let's check to see if the wrist is an issue also. So hold that together right there, mm -hmm. good. I'm gonna pull them apart, don't let me. Okay, strong. And then pinky and thumb, hold those. Don't let me pull them apart. Good, same thing there. And then flip that over, hold and good there. So nothing going on at all in the wrist. Her wrist hurt, but it was coming from the elbow. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Right on cue, that's the perfect Palm example. Sounds. I'm gonna check this side also. So hand up, palm out for me, please. Bring that shoulder down just a little. Hold there, I'm gonna push straight out, don't let me. Good, I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, don't let me. That was a little shaky right there. Mm -hmm. And then rotate the hand like that. I'm gonna push to the foot, don't let me. Strong there, and make a fist. Punch up, halfway down, hold. I'm gonna push, don't let me. And then keep the fist, bend the elbow. I'm gonna push mm -hmm. the arm to the ground, don't let me. And good there. So there's one line that's showing up. Mm -hmm. uh, on, when the hand's up and out, that's the pec. Two different uh, variations of it mm -hmm. though. So that more outer part of it is the one that we tested that was showing mm -hmm. so it's the ribs here. Can be those push ups. It's those darn push-ups, and right there. Oh yeah, ouchie. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come around to this side actually, and then breath in for me please. Let it all go. Okay. So it's just, it's kind of a weird I'm not feeling with the ribs there, right? Yeah. What are we doing by hand? I usually do these with an with activator. A machine. Yeah. Yeah. But today I'm doing it by hand, I don't know, so. Old school. Old school. And then I'm gonna push up and out diagonally, don't let me, there, quicker. And that's what we want, is just that quick response. So good there. We're gonna check her feet out also, cause she, again, uses everything, so. I use my feet. Here we go. And, do you remember how many bones are in the feet? If you get it wrong, I'm not gonna adjust it. Uh, how many bones? Give me a range. From, give, me, give me an okay. A, B, and C. Anywhere from, okay, 25, 26, or 27. 26. Perfect. I'll adjust uh -huh. the feet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was a 6 in there somewhere. Okay, perfect. And I knew there was a 20 in there somewhere, so <laughs> we got it right. together, we got it. There we go. The answer. <laughs> so the outside of your left, my right foot is what I'm really coming to quick. And that right there. Have you noticed any balance issues lately? Yeah, on this actually. foot. Do you read minds? No, but it makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> and the reason I ask that is because when there's a more significant problem showing up at the ankle, it affects balance. So mm -hmm. there we go. Let's change it. I could have been s watching your workout videos. You see, I had, I do watch them. <laughs> you can watch them. So right there, that didn't move how I wanted it to. We're gonna move on to this one first, the talus, there we go. And then this, for the cuboid, I'm gonna bring that up. And then straight back. There, that's what we want. And then the heel. Oh yeah. And then right on top here. Whoa. That YouTube will like also. That one I felt. <laughs> I was all the way up to my hip. <laughs> and then do that big toe. So important in athletics, but um, feeling that motion. She's got really good motion through that big toe. Just like her flexible elbow. That's another Which one you can. Wow. That's the one my dating for a while. Flexible right elbow. Good big toe motion on my left foot. I can ride that foot if you need me to. <laughs> Sponsored. So right here, same thing on that outside part. And because of that, there we go. Good release of pressure on there. But I'm gonna check the outside here of the knee on both of these. That's okay. So good in the 
foot. There's been very little like cleanup like this we've had to do with Sydney's feet because mm -hmm. of your consistency. Consistency wins. It there. does. There we go. Now we're gonna check this. That fibula. Yeah, and oh, that way. <laughs> Hold the foot down and in for me, please. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna push it up and out like that. Don't let me. Okay. And then this one down and in. Hold. Stronger. You feel the difference? Yeah, for sure. So. Ow. Yeah, I know. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, stop. Yeah, that's the fibula right there, and it's should glide up. It is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but it doesn't glide back, and that's where. Commonly, we'll hear people like driving, like, mm. oh, my knee kind of hurts or the outside of my leg yeah. or my calf when I'm driving or sitting cross legged. This is another one that tends to act up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Are you saying I'm getting old? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to make a joke earlier when you said old school. I, old I almost did. Yeah, I know. I, I held my tongue. <laughs> We'll have a poll below, people. How Comment old? below how old you think each of us are. There yeah. we go. I better be younger than you. I better be younger than her, or I'm gonna be <laughs> pissed. So I'm, I'm moving her calf out of the way, and I'm gonna be on that fibular head. There it is. There. Wow. Yeah. Does that feel different? Yeah, it does. It feels a lot different to me. Describe what it was like before. It freaking hurt. And now, yeah. <laughs> You're not jumping off now, so hold your foot down and in. I'm gonna push up and out, don't let me. There we go. Oh yeah, strong. Strength. Right we there. are good, let's have you walk, please. Just take a few steps around the table here. My and, new body. Uh, new body, yeah. Honestly though, it feels like my whole body just like decompressed. It feels felt a little bit more inflamed. Awesome, yeah, cool. And then uh, I guess for anyone, cause this is again, it's cool that you've got to experience this over the course of a year you were a college yeah. athlete and you mentioned how this fits into your kind of your regimen for mm -hmm. recovery yeah uh, for people out there maybe watching that have never been to a chiropractor what would you what would you say i say absolutely take the chance especially if you're going to come see dr matt um i've had really good experience with chiropractors it's now part of my regimen not just because i feel like i need to come see him every single week but rather i just feel so much better when i do and why not feel really good and take care of our bodies i work out a lot and with that i need to recover well too so awesome that's what you said he didn't pay me for that <laughs> cool thanks for watching bye Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to watch more, click the subscribe button below. Make sure to leave the comments, and if you have a video you'd like us to make, we're open to doing it. Just let us know what you want to see. Yeah! Mm. <laughs>